Hello guys, Igor here doing one more app summary review. Today analyzing Stocking AI, a tool that claims to generate custom visual content for your brand using AI. It's an image, uh, image generator that will use several different kind of AI strategies to create high quality image. It's an image generation tool that lets you instantly create high quality custom assets for your brand. And as you can see here, the deal is pretty good. You can get the license tier one. I got this one for only $39. And then you get 250 credits per month. If you buy a higher tier, you can get more credits up to tier four when you get uh, 3,000 credits per month. You count one credit per, per image generated. So let's take a look at the tool. So you can see here the dashboard and everything will work here after you select one of their categories. Let's start with the book cover. So here is where you can generate a different kind of book covers. You can turn it, you know, you can zoom in and zoom out as well to see your books. Let's try, um, the first one that design a cover about a content law book for begin use purple the primary color and you can click here to generate here is my book cover as you can see here i spent one credit uh, and you can see that i didn't give a title for my book so didn't work well for the title, but you can see that the tool made the, the book cover with purple color as the main color as I asked it. Here you can create wallpaper. Uh, you can change the quality in the details and the prompt guidance. So more guidance will make the image more likely to uh, show up like your prompt. And you can also, in all of those categories, create a, a negative prompt. So it's where you're going to uh, write uh, things that you don't want to see on the image. Okay, I want to see a Pikachu cinematic digital art wallpaper. Negative prompt, I don't want to see ash, no, no purple color. I will type like that. The direction, you can select horizontal, vertical, or square. You can also choose the model here. You can choose the disk fusion. It's the one I'm using here. You can select an image fusion, portrait plus, analog diffusion, 3D artworks, Disney model, and real photo. Let's do the anime since we are creating the Pikachu. Here's my first Pikachu result. I didn't like so much. I think I'm going to try again using that Disney model. Let's see our result. I'm going to go back to H to prompt guide. And let's go. This one is better, but like show the ear. Let's try again. This one, I think it's better. I use it the Disco Diffusion model. So let's try now a poster. You can generate posters as well. So New York City Broadway background. Let's see that poster. Let's 
pretty cool, the result. You can see the New York poster here. Okay. You have also the stock image prompt. And here you can change also, uh, select also different models. You're going to select real photo model and use Batman cinematic lighting high resolution 3D render. I'm going to go up with my prompt guidance and generate. You can see that you can also create the image in different sizes, vertical, horizontal, and square. Here you can see our Batman on real photo. I also like this one. Let's see if we can see um, Batman in Disney model. You can also see here on the right that you can see your history of image on the right. And if you click here, you can see your image again. I didn't like that Batman. Let's see an anime Batman. I'm going to also like here centralize. Let's see if it works better. They made a Batwoman. Very crazy. Let's try again. And now it's cool. So here is our Batman. And you can also create logos. I'm going to create a logo of a portrait of a smiling cyborg woman peaceful digital art. Generate. So here it is. I really like that one. Really cool logo. Illustration. You can also create illustrations. And then you can see that you can uh, you have different models, a paper cut and a classic illustration. Let's do both with our same prompt about our cyborg woman. So it's like almost like Frida. All right, let's try the classic illustration about our smiling cyborg woman. So here it is. I'm going to try another stock image to check another result. I'm going to add something like Cottage Overgrow with Ancient Tree High Fantasy Digital Art. And I'm going to select the Stable Diffusion 1.5. As you can see, it's pretty cool, pretty awesome. We need to try, as you can see, several times to get a good result. Sometimes we get a good result automatically like that one or that one. Sometimes we need to try several times. So we got uh, one good Batman here, another good one here. Those one are not so good. Uh, and I like the result overall. Also, you have the web UI here, you can create. Uh, and also, you have a feature to upscale your image. It costs credit as well. You can export the image as JPG, PNG, and SFG. You can change the file name and share automatically clicking here on, um, on one of the buttons they have. Overall, I like the tool, you can also discover an uh, image that they have created using the tool. I like the different kind of prompts that you can 
create using it. The book cover is pretty um, different. I have never seen in another so that kind of feature. Look how beautiful is that cover. I hope you like that review. If you like, please click on the link uh, in the description. Then you help me to keep going and also you're going to get the best deal for that too. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.